Hey everybody and welcome back to Crafty Made Easy. If you're interested to see how I made this Dreamcatcher keychain, stand by. So items you'll need to complete this project will include the Dreamcatcher mold set from Angel Wings. So it comes with the Dreamcatcher and it comes with the earring uh, molds or the bottoms of the Dreamcatcher. And it also comes with keychains, the earring loops, links, and the earring backers. This is more links for the actual, um, this might, I don't know if you would use the because it's bigger links and then a smaller link. So I'll decide which ones I want to put on the bottom of the um, Dreamcatcher. Um, I'll be using alcohol inks. You'll need something to stir your epoxy up with. You'll need uh, mixing cups to mix your epoxy and measure your epoxy. And of course, you'll need epoxy. I'll also need you some gloves. I believe that is all that you'll need for this particular project. Again, whatever you're using, any type of resin, you want to be in a well ventilated area. I do have two big windows behind me, so I am in a good area to mix my epoxy. And this epoxy that I'm using is Resin Rockers, and it's 100% VOC free and low odor. But if you still want to use your mask, you can always use your mask. There is no harm in using it or yeah but anyway um since that is all out of the way let's go ahead and get started all right so i mixed my epoxy up off camera so that is all mixed up um the next step is really going to be fairly easy because all i really want to do for this project is just do droplets so i've done this before in a different video where i just drop the alcohol inks in and then just put the clear on top of it and let the alcohol inks disperse and do their own thing so that's exactly what i'm going to do with this um project so i'm just going to go ahead and shake up my epoxy my epoxy my alcohol inks and I'm going to go ahead and just drop them in random places onto the mold. Now just make sure you get them down in the grooves because this mold has some grooves and everything. You just don't want to keep it on top, especially if you want your color to reach the bottom. And if you want to, you can put colors on top of colors but just kind of be quick with the alcohol because it is alcohol and it will dry up. So you do want to kind of move a little fast or if you um, are moving a little bit slow because you want to, you want to make sure you place it in a good spot or wherever you can always use a hundred percent alcohol. I mean, not a hundred percent alcohol where they sell that at. <laughs> 91% or 70% alcohol um, to spray onto your project to kind of um, spread the alcohol out. Alright. Oh, I like that blue. And then also make sure that your um, project is on a level surface. So when it does harden, it's not... Um, lean into one side or whatever and then next all you do is just pour your epoxy into your mold and let it do what it wants to do with the alcohol ink use something that will um bend easily all right y'all so that's it i just have to let it wait um rest for um, 24 hours um, but it has filled up the grooves the way it's supposed to now if you see any bubbles just go ahead and spritz it I like to spritz mines with um, alcohol you can use a torch the torch usually doesn't work well for me so I typically use the alcohol method and that works well for me so use whatever method works best for you to remove the bubbles um, and if you use alcohol all you have to do is just kind of spritz it maybe a couple times and let the bubbles kind of rise to the top. 
Um, but other than that, I'm gonna let this sit overnight and then I'll be back to demold it. All right, see y'all in a few. All right, y'all, so it has been 24 hours. And as you see, I ended up doing a lot of other projects in between because I had a lot of resin left over. I ended up mixing 30 of the A and 30 of the B, so 60 ml, and that was entirely too much. I think I used maybe 20 ml on this project right here. So I did have some left to do the pop, um, not the pop sockets, the uh, foam grip covers and the and i did like three letters or whatever like that so i'm gonna put this to the side and i'm going so let's go ahead and demold this all right so i kind of made a mess when i was making this so i have to go through and um cut out some pieces Cause I put a little too much. Well, not a little too much. I splattered it a little too much. So all I'm doing is going in and just cutting around it. And it's real easy just to get the flyaway pieces off. Alright. So if you do ever get or spill any extra. You can wipe it off while it's drying, but I try not to bother it, my stuff when it's drying because I don't want to mess it up. So I just take my little X-Acto knife and it's thin enough. So I just poke it through. Oh, this one's real thick. So I don't know. The middle is supposed to be like that. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm like, wait a bit, because that's too thick. Did I mess that one up or no? That is what that looks like. It probably would look real pretty in the sun, because you can see the colors a little bit better with the light shining through it. And the mold held up fine. No issues with the mold. Now, the alcohol ink did stain the mold a little bit, but other than that, it's pretty fine. You just kind of use some mild soup and water to clean it up. I'm going to go ahead and demold these ones. And it's the same thing. I went a little wild with the alcohol ink, so I just got to clean it up. I should have put a little white in there. All right, these ones came out really nice and really clean. Okay, other than the alcohol ink staining the molds, they are pretty good. Yeah, the alcohol inks kind of stained the molds, but um, like I said, just cleaning it up with a little mild soap and water should go ahead and clean, just, you know, clean the the chip pieces off and get any excess from the um, bottom. But other than that, it looks fine. Let me clean this off. Okay, so I went ahead and cleaned this up a little bit. So you can use these as earrings if you wanted to, because again, this pack did come with earring loops. So it came with these, which are earring loops. So if you wanted to make them into earrings, you can most definitely make them into earrings. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with keychains. All right, so you know how to put a keychain together. So <laughs> this will not be very long. Alright, so it came with big links and little links. So the big links will help attach the feathers to the bottom of the dream catcher. So you can do two, you can do three if you wanted to, because it's actually three loops. So you can do three like that, or you can just do two. like that so it's totally up to you how you want to do it or you could just do these two those two um there is like a groove here 
for you. I'm not sure if you can see it, probably not. But there is a groove here, like the line. And you can actually, if you have thin enough markers or um, uh, pens, you can actually draw something there, like in the line to make it stick out a little bit more. I'll have to put it the camera closer to it so you can see it. But you can make it more, um, you can make it pop if you had some thin markers. I don't, let me see. But you can actually draw in there to give it a little bit more pop. Be able to see it better. You see how I put that line for the marker in there? So that's what I'm saying. But if you have like, cause these are, acrylic paint pens I brought these off of Amazon um, if you have something thicker it'll probably do a little bit better I think I do have something thicker but for right now I'm just going to use that mm. okay and you don't have to do that that was just an extra step that I just wanted to do real quick but anyway you'll just take your jump rings and I'm gonna put an extra one on there because this is like super thick and I want them to swing so I'm just gonna put an extra Ring. and you would just use some um, needle nose pliers or something jewelry um, pliers and just hook it and I'm gonna just do the same thing with this one because then you would really be able to see these colors. Oh, especially this one. It's like a teal. Oh, I'm going to have to put it in um, light so y'all can see it. Because it is like the colors are really, really pretty. Alright. And then you would take a jump ring for the top and you would just loop it in the top and then you would just take your key ring like that Close it. Alrighty. And then that's it, pretty much. Now, if you wanted to, you can take this and put it up there if you wanted to, like an extra little feather, or something like such. Um, but you don't necessarily have to, but you can do that if that's what you wanted to do. But um, I wouldn't even put like a tassel because that would just look weird to me. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much it, y'all. You see how it just swings and you can put it on your keychain. You can hang it on your wall if you want to. You can pretty much do whatever you want to do with it. Um, like I said, if you wanted to, you I didn't have to use both sets. I wanted to use both sets just to kind of show you what it looked like. Um, but if you wanted to, you could put one in the middle like that and then it'll be three. So... Um, yeah, I might do that one too because the other one I kind of messed up a little bit. So <laughs> I really want to use that one. So I'm just going to put this one in the middle because I kind of like how it looks. And oh, come on. There we go. Put this one here.
Okay. And that's it. Like, let me see if I can bring my light over without it messing up. Okay, here we go. Can y'all see the colors? Probably not all that well. I'm gonna have to bring the camera down so y'all can see them. But this is like so super pretty. It is like really pretty. Um, all right, y'all. So that is the video. I will show y'all how the pops, the um, foam grip covers turned out in a different video. So stand by for that one because this one has got gotten kind of long and I didn't really want it to be too long. So um, I will show you how that turned out in a different video. So stand by to see that one. If you are not subscribed to my channel, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell to be notified when I drop new videos. And um, if you ended up liking this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button along with the share button. And if you end up purchasing any of these molds, there will be a discount code in the description box below. I will go ahead and add that to this video and to the last video. And it will be in my... Um, other videos i believe the discount code lasts until the end of september i can't remember but um i'll have that information in the description box below but if you end up buying any of these molds and you end up doing a, a project go ahead and post it in my facebook group which is crafting made easy spelled the same way as this youtube channel um i hope to see all of your creations very soon um, but yeah, y'all, that is it. This is the project. And like I said, I will move the camera down so y'all can see it better and the light to see like the colors really pop out because it really looks very pretty. All right, y'all, y'all take care and I will see y'all in the next video. Until next time, peace.